So this is what's going out today. And I'm adding the extra product in because I want them for my photos. I was gonna open it. <laughs> like trailing vine. It's easy to grow, it just goes crazy. Yeah, it's so good. It smells too. I'm back and I've changed. Can you believe there was a flower shop one? Can you believe it? When you went in there, did you see it? What's that? Mm. What is this? It's like a little shelfy thing. Oh yeah. How cute. Look, come and zoom in. I'm a grown woman playing with dolls, but I love it. Just the little tables. If you would like to buy some sleeves and vases is what I sell. At the moment. Mm -hmm. Hello. We're back. So last week we were prepping flowers for this wedding and this morning, so it's Saturday, I'm making them. When I say last week I was prepping, it was actually like a few days ago and yesterday. So nothing's happened since, except my hay fever is really bad. <clears throat> and I've got everything here. I need to think this through. I was also gonna do a live of me putting it up, but I've got too much to do today because I've got a really big photo shoot this afternoon as well. So, and this hay fever is just making me feel so yuck. I'm really tired. Anyway, I'm gonna make some bouquets for roadside. So Marona is gonna go out for a couple of hours this morning and then we're gonna get going on those bouquets and the boutonnieres and a corsage. Finished the flowers, forgot to show you. Anyway, but here's two. And I'm just packing them into the car so I can show you them in there. So this is what's going out today. We've got some bunches of the seed pod nigella, which doesn't sell as well as the actual flowering one. King Protea, native bunches, lilies, the spuds and chrissies, and chamomile. Poor natives, we've got some luxbar up there. So it's a nice variety. Now what I'm gonna do is I just need to go and pick some jasmine vine for this bouquet. Uh, what I'm what I'm actually doing is this customer, I've priced it for something, for what she asked for, which she was on a budget, so she's asking for less than what she actually wanted. But what I'm going to do is just make them big, and I'm adding the extra product in, because I want them for my photos. So I guess that's the benefit of booking a wedding with someone sort of starting out. And maybe it's an idea for you, you can... Add your extra stuff in, make it really well for them, but then you've got your photos. I was gonna open it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You're a cheeky husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't have jasmine vine growing, Maybe pop it in, it is just the most cutest sort of like trailing vine. It's easy to grow, it just goes crazy. And it looks beautiful in bouquets. All right, let's get our pieces for this bridal bouquet. They're spray roses, so I think I'll go with that one. Good. 
I am going to do a, like a flat lay on the ground of the arbor after I've got all this order done. Because what's actually happening is they're having their hair, her and her bridesmaids are having their hair done down at the salon in town, like in Yak, this morning. So I'm dropping all of their bouquets and the buttonholes and the corsage down there around 10-ish. And she's having baby's breath in her hair. So I've got the baby's breath. Her hair's getting done at 11. And then the her and the groom are going to do their photos before the wedding. So they needed their flowers. So getting all that done and then I'll come back and prep this uh, arbor and I'll go down to the venue at one o'clock and do the arbor because the wedding's not till two, uh, till 3.30. I need some of this for her bouquet. Just to put a few of those. This is real sort of, not sappy, but it's got this horrible sticky, yeah, it's sappy. It smells too, I'll put gloves on. It's not smelling bad at the moment, but when it's freshly picked, they won't notice it. It's just when it's in a huge thing, it's probably giving me really bad hay fever too. Now let's do it. made it too big. So I'll pull some stuff out. And it's making it really heavy. Some foliage? Probably this piece of foliage. I think I'm leaving it there. All right, so now it's just the baby's breath ones. I'm just gonna check the time. It's 10 to nine, I'm running out of time. All right. So these are just little, I've got some done already. She just wants little sort of posies of baby's breath. But I'm using just over one bunch, like a five stem for each one. And we had to import it, so I have to use imported chip because we couldn't get it.
little cubby boy. Hello. It's a bite to get you. Now I've got to run inside, look somewhat presentable, do the photos, then go deliver. So we've got the bouquet, it's in a vase mm -hmm. to keep it nice. Baby's breath. Baby. Oh, I forgot something. I've got to do the little pieces for her hair. Just got to drop that off to the hairdresser. There. Oh, I'm almost running around now because it's 20 past 10 and I want to get them, well, I need to get them there before 11, but I wanted to get them there at 10.30 so she didn't stress. I'm off. <laughs> I just did the photos, they're very far, very quick ones. Um, at least it's something to put on the website. While that sits in that, it's got the holding solution from Crystal, the Professional 3, I think it is. Anyway, while that's sitting there, I'm going to go inside and upload, uh, make last week's YouTube video live because I forgot to schedule it. And I just realised it's not up, so I'll just go and press the button on that. And we've had a little injury. James fell over as I was delivering the flowers. So then I had a kid with bleeding knees, <laughs> crying. Well, he didn't cry too much actually. He really held it together, which is amazing, poor little fella. So I'm gonna go stick a Peppa Pig Band-Aid on his knee. Have a bit of a breather, probably need to have something to eat. And then I'm gonna go back out to the studio and work on the layout of the arbor. I really do operate better when I leave things for the last minute, but I acknowledge it's not the best plan. Okay, that's really rough, but that's the layout. So I pack all this back up now, put it all back over here. I'm not gonna take these, they're not gonna work. Hello, <laughs> wee. He's, he's closed everything, so it's dark inside. I'll use all of this, this, all of that, all of the roses, probably this bucket of smoke bush. This one I'll give to Jack. Um, I'm gonna pack the car now and head off. I needed to remember this tripod. We're here. I'll show you around. This is the arbor.
work. So it took me about an hour and I want to say hour and 15 minutes. I do have sunscreen on, I'm just hot because I had long sleeves and everything. I was trying to get the sun off myself. I even had sunscreen on my ankles. <laughs> I've changed. I've actually got to go to a really big photo shoot now, so I'm ready for that. Anyway, that's finished. And as I was saying before, I feel like I would have liked it bigger, but when I got there, the arbor was massive and really, really tall. Um, it was a lot of material, it was pretty big. I definitely didn't charge enough for it. But at the same time, I put more into it because I wanted to use it for photos. So it's okay. Um, anyway, signing off. See ya.